you saw the working, everything went great. However, what happened after the working, unexpected situations happened. And I'm gonna tell you all about it and how the rest of the day went. This one's having a calf. That you haven't seen yet. Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Timbers Bison. I'm Dusty, this is the Big Joe Herd. We're out here in the burn unit. It's had a long time resting, a long time waiting. Boy, boy, did we have a wild day of bison ranching. Kind of a lot of unexpected things happened and it got a little wild. It got a little Western on us, as I like to say, but luckily had some great hands, some good friends helping us out along the way and got to be a part of the journey. We're at Creek Fence Crossing right here. We've got a brand new fence that runs down here. This fence was a little iffy the past couple of years that they've been grazing out here. We had to get a new fence built. Well, what comes with that is a creek runs right through the middle of our property. We got an H brace in there. We put up some temporary fencing so we could let the bison out here and get them in their grazing management plan and get them going. So my friends were with me. I said, hey guys, before we go let these bison out, we gotta go do some fence patch work to do. So the first thing that we did is we went and worked on the creek crossing. I mean, if y'all, if you're just tying them to the wire, yeah, yeah for now. I just do them on the ends. Yeah. That way, when it flows through, it'll break the wire and the T-post will stay. Marissa, you hand us another T-post. Yep, in just a minute. That works. Just, can I just pick any T-post? Is there like... <laughs> my buddy Cole Fagan got in the creek and helped us knock it out we put the panels across here we're going to do something actually permanent but to get the bison out here in the grazing burn unit we had to go ahead and put some panels up on this fence creek crossing because it's been problems in the past it's where the bison got out before Raise the panels up so the water can flow underneath. Make it to where if it does break, it won't tear everything down. It just takes the panels with it. Making it work to get these animals in here. We're going to let them go. And then we went around the whole 80 acres and we patched up fence basically. We have some new fence on some sides of it, but about the other half of this burn unit had some rough fencing. We had to do a lot of patching up to get them out. Once we did the fence patching, we got a phone call. Marissa was up uh, at the barn at some situation and I was tying up a gate. Me and Eli were, were, were kind of wrapping everything up before we went and let them out. Marissa called and uh, Mud, they got back to the front at the Ponderosa barn and said, hey, Big Joe and Dunbar up here. Really, I just wasn't thinking. I had I wanted to get the fence done so we could let them out. That was my focus. Well, I figured that once you let the bison out, because after we work them and they run through the squeeze chute, they get out in the pasture and they go. Well, Big Joe made his way back up to Dunbar, unfortunately, at some point. Well, a couple of things happened. Dunbar destroyed some of our corral and then he also destroyed our automatic water. Well, our automatic water is tied up to our main rural water line, right? It's been working great, it's awesome, but Dunbar destroyed it. So the, by the time we got there, there's water everywhere. The water's been running. Marissa and Marshall said, you gotta get back up here. We gotta fix this thing. Eli and I finished tying up a panel. We're on the way to the Ponderosa. We're hauling, but we're trying to get up there and got to get the water shut off. We've got to get Big Joe out of there. But by the time I made it, about halfway back to the Ponderosa, here comes Mud and some of my friends. Marissa and I invite all of our friends out after a day of work and we like to uh, eat, we like to hang out, socialize together, right? It's a special day of getting the animals worked and release them on the burn unit for grazing. And uh, well, I'm about halfway back and Mud is coming with the ATV. And guess who he's got in front of him?
So Mud's pushing Big Joe. They're on the ATV. They're trying to get Big Joe separated from Dunbar. Marshall and them did a great job of getting Big Joe away from Dunbar. That's not an easy task. They got it taken care of. It didn't stop from there. Well, once we got Big Joe and Haas in pasture three, that's where the whole entire big herd was. But they're hanging out in the far western part of this 40 acres. They wanted far away from the handling, far away from the barn as they could get, right? we pull over there we've got to get them from pasture three to the nine acres and into the burn unit and so with the atv they know the atv i brought some cubes with me hey big joe what's happening buddy this naughty boy here well he's pooping right now that sounds terrible I'm pulling, Marshall and his crew got behind and they're kind of pushing in the back. I'll sit in here. Peaches is following me. She's doing a great job of being a leader Come on. because they know something's up when it's Woo. like this. I'm shaking the bucket. They're following. And uh, we get them all the way there. As soon as they come through the gate and into the burning, it'd be a cow comes by us and she's got two hooves hanging out. Come on. Into 
almost there. We're almost there. Come on! I did good. Did good, here they come. Marshall and the guys are pushing them from the back. Big Joe and Haas had a long day. There's the red dogs. There's Haas. Big Joe. Tongues out. He's tired. She's good. It, it, you're good. Wild situation, right? We just worked these bison and now we're trying to move them to their grazing unit and there's a cow in labor. Things are getting really interesting by this point. Well, luckily we got them all the way through the burn unit, which was number one. And so Number two, I've got to get back up to the barn, work on the water system, get it back in order. We're supposed to all hang out together and eat dinner. Uh, so the day got definitely very interesting, needless to say. Well, my thoughts was, oh my gosh, well, we hope the cow's okay. She just went through all this. So I wanted to get all that taken care of. Well, I got back to the barn and we got the water shut off. Kevin and I worked on the water a little bit. I said, scratch it. We got the water situation handled momentarily, um, but it's going to take me some time to work on that water. So anyways, got the water cut off, got to hang out with our friends. We had a great evening, but what a day. We reached our goal. We got all the animals worked, and then we reached our second goal is get them to the burn unit so they could start living the dream out here on this green grass. The third thing, and I was really worried about that cow. So the next day, Brooks and Marissa and I had to go do a herd check. We wanted to see how the 134 Wolverine heifer did with her first time calf. I want to thank all my help on this day, man. Everybody came together. We got all the we got the bison work, and then some more friends showed up to come hang out with us, patch up some of our fencing before we let the bison out, and get this creek fence crossing taken care of right here. Put the panels over it. Cole hopped out there, <laughs> took his shoes off, hopped out there. Never slowed down to think about helping us. So we love people being a part of everything and being a part of this special day of working the bison and then getting them out on the grazing unit to start their grazing for this year. With all their help, Mud, Kevin, Eli, Marissa, Cole Fagan, all their help. I appreciate it so much. It's so fun doing this sort of stuff with your friends, right? And uh, 
we enjoy having them around. We love their company and they're all good people, which makes it so much better. And we're celebrating an awesome animal. We're celebrating the opportunity and the chance to raise the American bison. And it's really fun. And it makes it even better when you can bring your friends along with you and family to be a part of it all. Big thanks to all of them for helping. Thank you guys for helping us. We'll let you know the outcome of the calf. You guys stay tuned. Thanks for Boston Rancher with us. We'll see you guys next time. Hey guys. Hey buddy. <laughs>